Joe Williams from the Fire Brigade Union. I'm here at the Union's headquarters in South West London. I'm joined by the General Secretary, Matt Rack. There's just been a major announcement on the pensions campaign. Matt, so an announcement of further industrial action. Yes, a uh, very serious step. We have today uh, unanimously agreed with the Executive Council that further strike action and other industrial action will be called, uh, starting on the 2nd of May with strikes on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of May. So a very serious step. Uh, not a position any of us wanted to be in, uh, but regrettably uh, that's where we are as a result of the failure by the government to come up with revised proposals which we've been seeking for a considerable time now since January. Okay, and what exactly is action going to look like? Well, there'll be three periods of uh, strike action for firefighters in England and Wales on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of May. Uh, there'll also be a period of uh, action short of strike, that'll be in the form of an overtime ban starting at the start of those strike periods for firefighters in Scotland uh, and then at the end of the strike action there'll be a, a period also of industrial action short of strike in the form of an overtime ban for firefighters in England and Wales. Uh, control members will not be included in that action. Okay, so how come we've ended up having to call this action now? Well, I think from the last update uh, people may have followed that we, we met a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we've been trying for a considerable time to work with government officials about coming up with revised proposals on pensions. Uh, we've been led to believe that a lot of work has been done, well, we, a lot of work has been done on, around that. Uh, what hasn't come through is as an actual set of proposals that our members can look at. Uh, we therefore, when we met two weeks ago, we, we wrote to Brandon Lewis and we said that we'd be meeting today uh, and that we would expect that some revised set of proposals would come through uh, and if they weren't received by today then we'd have to conclude that they weren't coming, that they weren't prepared to either make those proposals or weren't willing to make them. Okay. okay, so does this close the door for further negotiations from the union's perspective? No, not at all. We're uh, very clear that we want to resolve this through dialogue with the government, but the government needs to realise that we're not going to be pushed around. Firefighters are not willing to accept the uh, changes to their pension scheme, the attacks on their pension scheme, which make it uh, unaffordable and unworkable. Uh, you know, while we've been talking to them, they've uh, increased contributions for a third year running with further increases to come. Uh, we've presented evidence on no job, no pension, the threat of capability dismissals, uh, and unfortunately uh, they have not addressed that. Uh, we've looked at a whole range of issues around the design of this 2015 proposed scheme. Uh, we thought we'd made some headway on that, but again, no proposals have come through. So we're happy to meet again at any point. Uh, the Executive Council is happy to meet at short notice if revised proposals come from the government. I think the ball's very firmly in, in their court. Okay, and finally a message to members and the government itself? Well I think a message to members is to say thank you uh, for all the solidarity, thank you and congratulations for all the solidarity and support they've shown to each other, the determination, I think they've been professional throughout this uh, campaign, they've, uh, they've got their message across to politicians at a local and national level in a, a, a remarkable way. Uh, unfortunately we haven't shifted government at this stage, we always knew it was going to be difficult, we're taking on central government who are very determined to attack public sector pensions including ours and I suppose my message to government is they need to start listening to the evidence, they need to addressing the concerns that firefighters uh, have raised. You know over the, the winter floods we saw David Cameron visiting firefighters, praising them for the work they'd done uh, and yet, just a few months later, his government refusing to actually come up with proposals to address the concerns of firefighters and their families. I think that's pretty disgraceful. OK, Matt, thanks very much. Remember, you can check into www.fbu.org.uk for all the latest on the pensions campaign, or why not follow us on Twitter, at FB National. Thanks very much. <laughs>